This video lecture addresses community structure in regards to the field of ecology. The ecological community is the set of plant and animal species that occupy an area. A broad definition of community is a group of species that occupy a given area interacting either directly or indirectly. So in many ways we think of community ecology as a spatial concept. A more restrictive definition of community is a subset of species such as a plant, bird, small mammal, or fish community. A community has attributes that differ from those of its components in regards to measures of species richness, the relative abundance of species, the nature of species interactions, and the physical structure. The number of species and their relative abundance define diversity. Species richness is the count of the number of species occurring within the community, whereas relative abundance represents the percentage each species contributes to the total number of individuals of all species. The pattern of species richness and relative abundance can be compared between communities. In the image here, which community A on the left or B on the right has higher species richness? Actually, both communities have the same species richness, that is, they each have seven unique species. However, it should be apparent that the relative abundance of species within these two communities is different, where, for example, community B has two species with greater abundance, the pink flower lily and the red rose. A common method for comparing patterns of species richness and abundance between communities is to plot the relative abundance of each species against rank, which is called a rank abundance diagram, as shown here for three species of brook depicted by blue, red, and black lines. Another measure of community structure, species evenness, indicates the distribution of species richness. A community with a greater species evenness would have a more gradual slope of the rank abundance curve. Several different diversity indexes provide a way to quantify the relationship between species number and relative abundance. Keep in mind these are simple equations meant to help the human brain compare community structure, so the values are comparable for an index but not across different indices and often not across different major community types. One common index is Simpson's index which is often referred to as a capital D in equations. Simpson's index is calculated as the sum of lowercase n, which is the number of individuals of species i, divided by uppercase n, which is the total number of individuals of all species across all species in the community. Simpson's index ranges between 0 and 1, and as both species richness and evenness increase, the value approaches 0. Simpson's index of diversity is calculated as 1 minus Simpson's index, and the greater the value of Simpson's index, the lower the diversity. Simpson's reciprocal index, which is also known as Simpson's diversity index, is calculated as 1 divided by Simpson's index. The lowest possible value is 1, representing a community containing only one species, and the maximum value is the number of species in the community, which is the species richness. Another index used to quantify community diversity is the Shannon or shannon wiener index, which is represented as a capital H in equations. The equation for the Shannon index is the sum of the relative abundance of each species, that is lowercase p for species i equals lowercase n for species i divided by uppercase n equals ni divided by n, times the natural log of the relative abundance across all species in the community. In the absence of diversity, where only one species is present, the Shannon index equals zero. The maximum Shannon index occurs when all species are present in equal numbers. Recall the earlier graphic representing two plant communities, A and B. When a single or few species predominate within a community, these species are referred to as dominance. 
in community A on the left, there are about the same number of individuals of all species, so community A is more even. In community B, the light pink lily and the red rose are dominance. Dominance is the converse of diversity. When the basic Simpson index is 1, the 1 represents total dominance, that is, only one species present in the community. Dominant species are usually defined separately for different taxonomic or functional groups of organisms within the community, for example, tree versus herbaceous plant species. Dominance can reflect the number of individuals, size of individuals, or some combination of characteristics that include both the number and size of individuals. Dominant species are typically the dominant competitors under the prevailing environmental conditions. It is important to note that in the field of ecology, textbooks tend to focus on the developmental theory, but that does not always translate into what field research has found regarding the application of measures, measures such as richness, evenness, and diversity, among others. For example, McPherson and De Stefano, 2003, note that, quote, the pursuit of diversity indices appears to be an intellectually bankrupt enterprise, end quote. Keystone species influence community structure disproportionately to their numbers. As described by Martinez Beavers, 2010, quote, A keystone is the centerpiece of an archway. Its trapezoidal shape allows the whole frame to stand and keeps both sides balanced. A keystone species provides habitat or food for many other species. It allows a complex community to exist. If the keystone species is removed, the ecosystem will collapse just like taking the keystone out of an archway. Beavers are considered a keystone species because their dams create a kind of neighborhood for other wildlife. End quote. A keystone species has a disproportionate impact on the community relative to its abundance. The removal of a keystone species initiates changes in the community structure and often results in significant loss of diversity. Some examples presented by Smith and Smith include the coral, Oculina arbuscula, which provides shelter for a species-rich epifauna. The African elephant, Loxodonta species, whose destructive feeding habitats allow for the growth and production of grasses. And sea otter, which acts as a keystone predator by eating the urchins that feed on kelp, maintaining kelp beds and the habitat these provide to many other species. The following resources were consulted in developing this video lecture on community structure, including content, organization, and images.